we're just about to take part in the journalism speed dating uh, program. We're just about to begin the speed dating session with the alumni and previous students. And basically it's our opportunity to ask them as many questions as we want to ask them and really gain an insight into how we can make the most of our course. What I want to know is what opportunities are there that we need to take advantage of to get our foot in the door and hopefully some of the students and past students will be able to answer that for us today. I realised that a lot of the advice that I have to give to journalism students is actually advice that's just generally good in life. Always say yes, always help people, always be nice and that gets you mild. When I started at City, I was kind of curious about what my, what my classes would be like, what the lectures would be like, what my fellow students would be like. So hopefully we can give them an idea of what that's going to be. I started a magazine while I was here about two years ago, and so I gave myself a job. So yeah, <laughs> a big part of this and a big part of today is networking. And the wonderful thing about journalism is that there's a lot of people out there helping each other. I think the most important thing that I'm going to try and impart is to just be curious and be persistent. Because I've noticed that those two things is what's opened most of the doors for me. Just asking questions and, and not taking no for an answer. As long as you can get it right and nail it in third year, so you get the technique, if the BBC and people know you're reliable, they'll keep coming back to you. Make an effort to get to know each other because you guys are going to be each other's colleagues for the next three years at least if you're lucky, and maybe for the rest of your life. It really provides us insight into what we should do to go that extra mile. One of the pieces of advice which was significant was about not waiting for a job, but making your own opportunities. Maybe some of their fears have been relaxed a bit. It was great that they were willing to give away their details like email addresses and phone numbers and contact details so that you know a lot of them are working in the industry so they can advise us on possible work experience they may know of. I think what happened to me was organic and I think that was also a point that I made to them which was if you look at all three of us we all figured it out in completely different ways. Some of them are quite concerned that they picked the right course or that they picked the right uni and I did say to them that for me personally and it's been vindicated from my experience that if I was going to do journalism again, I'd always pick City. After seeing how they were with us and how they interacted with each other, it was obvious that being at City is not just about getting your degree. They developed some really strong bonds with each other and they still kept in touch. Some of my best friends went to City with me, it's still my best friends today, and um, we all help each other out every day. I know most people in my tutor group now so it's been nice to hear what other people have to say and what other people want to know and what other people want to do. So yeah, the future is exciting.